moving on to Fulham. Um, big game as well because I think that Fulham are a side with a lot of confidence and Mitrovic yeah. has been firing goals he's already got four this season there's questions as to whether he'll even be a Premier League striker he certainly is um, and I think I don't know I, I do think it's going to be a tougher game than we probably take credit for I think we will I think we should win you know we are better than Fulham so to speak but I think it will be a tough game it is at Craven Cottage so they have their sort of home form which is quite impressive to be fair um, really intense atmosphere at the Craven Cottage. <laughs> um, yeah, just get all the cheese boards out. But um, yeah, uh, start start with you, Ben. What are you, what yeah, are you thinking on. for Fulham? Well, I'm thinking, obviously, the first thing you think of is Shane Duffy. Will he cause us problems? Um, <laughs> yeah, good point. Um, <laughs> uh, Mitrovic, Mitrovic, obviously, he's the standout player for them. Um, a player that I've probably, in the past few years, would have, would have been happy for Brighton to sign him. But maybe he just yeah. doesn't really kind of fit the mould for Brighton. Um, or maybe just for Potter in general. Does he um, have 100 goals or something now for Fulham? Is that right in saying? I think it's, is it? I, I, he hit 100 this know. weekend. Yeah, well, like, I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking is, think it was. Like, the, going into the yeah. Leeds game, Rodrigo was the most was like the top goal scorer of the Premier League, and then yeah. Duncan Webster just absolutely handled him, and Veltman just handled him to perfection. So the question is, will that battle pay off for Duncan Webster? Like, will they get the better of Mitrovic? And, I'm leaning towards yes, but I don't think it'll be as straightforward because he's a lot more physical yeah. than uh, yeah. than Rodrigo is. I was, I was just about to say that. I feel like the difference between Rodrigo and Mitro is the physicality. So I feel like with Rodrigo, you know, he does his little runs in behind or whatever and like, you know, his, his little you know, decent feet, whatever. But he's very different to Mitrovic. And I feel like, and I, I, it does pay me a little bit to say this, I feel like they might struggle a little bit with Mitrovic. I don't know. I could be wrong, mm-hmm. and I, 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 I hope I'm proven wrong. I just, I don't know. I feel like with with Webster and, uh, and Dunks, he's like a the, bully. Yeah, he's a bully. He's a bully. Yeah, bully. and like you saw, like mate, I don't know if you saw the highlights against Arsenal. Like he um, had a really good header, which uh, um, yeah, uh, Ramsdale yeah, made really the end good, of the game. Yeah, made a good save, um, and he was just yeah, he was just a problem for Arsenal the whole game, and he obviously got a goal as well. So, so yeah. like yeah, I don't know. He he does he does worry me. I, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Oh, yeah, I do. I do worry about Mitrovic. Like you are right, but I, I don't know. I just think, um, you know, to, to mention Levi Colwell actually, who, who played yesterday. Uh, I thought he was really good actually when he came on. He he showed that he's got that dominance and he's very 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 strong in the air. Mm. He passed all the tests uh, that he needed to pass. Uh, and I, I looked at that back three of, of Webster, Duncan, and, and Colwell, and I just thought that is so perfect if we can keep hold of him after. You know, they just signed Wesley Fofana. Uh, Trevor Shalaber looks like he's going to be staying as well. I just, I don't see why um, he would want to go back to Chelsea. They've got um, they, they've got what's his name uh, Koulibaly as well. So I don't know. I don't see why in the future he would want to go, especially if he has a good year. But I, I don't know. I wouldn't be completely surprised if 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 Levi Cole was thrown into the mix tomorrow. I mean, he impressed quite early on, uh, very quickly, um, and it could be another body to potentially deal with. Mitrovic he's very tall. Uh, which could be a, which could be a reason as to why um, you might see him, but I don't know. Duncan Webster filled me with so much confidence, and I think that from there you've got a good basis to go on with the rest of the team. You've got Gross, you've got McAllister, you've got Caicedo in that midfield, and, and Leandro Trossard has been lethal, especially away from home. So I think that you know, I think we will beat them. I think we're going to look at a, a, a two-one victory because I do think that Mitrovic will get a goal, but I think we will win, and I am really looking forward to it being in that away end. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. Tell what you what, happens. it would have been nice to have Neil Mope for this game for him to come up against Leno potentially, mm. but obviously mm. he's now gone. So yeah, thank you, Neil. Away as, day's as king as well, though, wasn't he? Away day king, yeah, it would have been nice to see him. But yeah, for farewell, Neil. But um, I don't know. It would be it would be interesting to see how we get on against him. Like you said, Craven Cottage. It's not the most. It's a bit like the Amex. Players don't go there and get intimidated, do they? No. It's just it's, it's very much more down to the to the players on the pitch rather than having a twelfth yeah. man. I mean, I might be proven wrong. I've never been to Craven Cottage. Luckily, I'm going to go on Tuesday and see what it's like. But I've heard the oh, atmosphere yeah, isn't amazing. Yeah, I've heard I'll the atmosphere is not great. Yeah, I'll see you there, buddy. Um, well, I don't know really any, any other players that kind of scare me for Fulham, to be honest. Like, obviously, they've got a couple of new Cavano faces. Cavano is quite useful. Is he? I quite like him. Yeah, he, he's sort of like a wide player. He's quite quite quick, quite skillful, which, you know... Yeah. <sighs> Lamptey yesterday is another example as a player that can come in and, and impress. Yeah, literally off the bench. It, it, yeah, and, and player if, of that if quality. He, yeah, exactly. And Veltman was fantastic too. So there's, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I just feel like our team. Well, be decked over Reed. I, I quite like yeah, him sometimes. He's, he's, he's decent not too player. bad. Um, yeah. Obviously, a manager that has, I think he's been relegated a couple of times in the Premier League. What is it? Is it Silva? Isn't it Fabio? Marco Silva. Marco Silva. Marco Silva. Marco Silva. I, I, I just let me just. Really 
I hate him. I think he's terrible. <laughs> I, I, I literally, I, think, I think he's the. I think he's such. A, I, no, but I just think he's such a fraud. Like he was at Hull. He was at Everton. He was yeah. at. Um, uh, the only place he's done well was he at Watford, Watford as well. Watford, yeah. Oh, Watford yeah. as well. He gets yeah. around the block, doesn't he? Yeah, the only place he's done well is at Fulham, which he got them promoted. And uh, funnily enough, we've actually got a Fulham fan in our office, and uh, I was chatting to him about it, and he's like. He's done really, really well for them in the champ. Um, and he was like, uh, and I was like, well, okay, but we're in the Premier League now. Like, and he's like, yeah, he's got off to a good start, but let's see. Like, let's, let's assess him at the end of the season. And I was like, yeah, if he makes it that far. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't think I don't think he'll, he'll get sacked or anything like that. But I, just, I, I personally think he's a forward. I don't, I don't think he's very good. Um, another yeah. player I've just spotted on the team sheet online for Manchester United, I think, or is he, did he actually go permanently? Pereira. Andreas Pereira. Yeah, permanent. I think he's on permanent. Permanent. Yeah. permanent. He, yeah. looks, he's very he good. looks good. He looks very, very creative good. player. And, um, mm. mate, yeah, I guess it, that's, that'll be a good battle for McAllister and Caicedo. I mean, yeah. I mean he get, again, the, Le- the, Le- yeah, the, Leeds play, the Leeds fans spoke about their midfield and how they're going to cause problems for McAllister and Caicedo. And I kind of believed yeah. it. But now I'm looking at a weaker midfield in Fulham. Surely, surely Caicedo and Alexis can handle that if they do play. I expect us to go there and dominate. I think I, I, mm. I expect us to. It's be, just again down the to way that, actually finishing our end product, yeah, maybe. Precisely. I think the, the the good thing is, for some reason, whenever Trossard gets in an away day, he's lethal, and that's the one thing I think. Mm. Those chances he missed yesterday, he scores in an away day. I don't know what it is. He seems to just be on a different level. Um, so that's the one bit of hope I have. My only little thing is, I hope. I don't know. This is this is really silly. But the last time Brighton had a red orangey shirt. It was a curse, and we really never wanted to wear it in the championship, if you remember. And it, it reminds me of a, yeah, and it reminds me of a game. Yeah, that was actually a good point. It wasn't yeah. Fulham, but it reminds me of um, Cardiff when we lost four one. I think we were chasing the championship, and it, it was just a completely awful day out. But we've that got this game. again, <laughs> and it's very, very, very similar to that one where it was Dunk scored that header. I don't know. All I'm saying is that's gone down as one of the greatest away days in Brighton history. Could we be in with the same? We'll see. If yeah, there's anything yeah, else you want to add, boys, because other than that, let's do score predictions. Mm, um, yeah. I, I've already said 2-1. Uh, Maz, Maz, what do you think? So, uh, I did a bit of digging, and uh, I saw that we, we the last time we played them in the Prem, which was cup two seasons ago, I want to say now, uh, mm. we, we drew 0-0 both times. So... Uh, I'm gonna go, but however, I do feel like we're better. This like we are very good at the Not moment. Better, Much better. Better. Yeah, we're, we're, we're playing. Better. We're playing very good football. I really like the way. I thought we were very dominant against Leeds, and I thought we should have won two, three, nil. You know, really com- comprehensively. So I'm gonna go with a one nil away win to the Albion. Mm. Okay, but I think it's gonna be a I'm tight in. game. But we'll, we'll, we'll edge for the first time this yeah. season, right? I'm gonna agree with you. I'm gonna say two one win for Brighton. I think we will okay. take more of our chances, and we will get we will get more chances than we would have against Lee. Because, like you say, away nice. from home, we are very good. Yeah, agreed. Right, wins all round then. Let's hope so. Um, Actually, yeah, apparently all we go top of the league as well if we win on Tuesday night. Oh mate, I saw we're top of the league yesterday. I was loving my life. I've, yeah, yeah, I haven't done great. that in the Prem for ages. It was great. So um, ever, surely. Fantastic. Yeah, Not that I can remember anyway. I no, we haven't know. been. I don't think we've been. I don't think we've, we've been, been top, top once yeah. last year. Oh, we were top of the Briefly. league for 30 seconds. Uh, last Man year. Si- uh, yeah, it was when. Last year? I uh, can't remember who it was. I remember we were top of the league for a bit and then we went back down again. I think All we can right. see it straight away. Um, but anyway, not the point. Um, what, a, what a couple of days, lads. What, what a couple yeah. of weeks. What a season it's starting to be.